a lot of the days she's supposed to pick up the boys, those are the dates she's um, just scroll up. Those are all the days she's been doing it. And that's how she's been supporting herself, I believe. Could be. Should we turn this? This is what I'm going to suggest that you do, Mr. Copeland. You see, what you're doing is you're coming to me, you and your former wife made an agreement instead of going to family court and saying, well, we each don't have a child living with us anymore. What we have is we have me taking care of both boys. So I need a formal order or we can work it out. If you went to family court and got a formal order, if she was working and she was working then, she would have had to have paid a certain amount of money to you for the support of both children. Do you understand? Yeah. You chose to deal with this in another way, independently, which is fine. And she was paying you bits of money, 20 here, yeah. 40 here, 100 here. But at this point, she's coming in and she's saying to me, I have no regular source of income. And if you were in family court, she would be making a request for the family court order of support to be suspended while she's unemployed or take a certain amount of money from her unemployment insurance every week, which you would be entitled to. What kind of work do you do? Maintenance worker. You work for the same company? No. Explain that to me. Prior to the beginning of the year, I was working the refineries. That's, a, that's like a, a contractor's job, you know, off and on. So I got hired on at a, as a maintenance worker at a bottling plant. So I, full time. And you're remarried? Yeah. This is your wife? Yes. She works? Yep. Do you have any other children other than these two boys? Yep. How old are they? Um, <laughs> seven, nine, and ten. ten. And the seven, ten, and nine-year-olds are your biological Just children? the youngest one. Just the seven-year-old? Yeah. And the nine and ten-year-old are yours from previous marriage, but you work? Yes, I do work. So it's very nice that you want to go to school, and I think it's probably a very wise idea. But you will be collecting unemployment, and this is the path that you chose. You have to pay him money out of your unemployment insurance every week. Well, how much do you intend to pay him? Um, I have no problem giving anything. Like, he's going after me for child support. I have to go to court on November. I just received um, that in the mail, too. So I'll be going to oh. child support court on November 16th, I believe, I'm going to child support. Oh, yeah, okay, 15th that'll, of November. That will be taken care of? Yes. I'm on a divorce. They said the child support was to be reserved. The child support I'm going after for November is, this is from stuff from behind us. The child support is a whole different thing. I'm just... No, it isn't. No? No. Okay. No, it isn't. If she was paying you consistently until she lost her job, which your memo, which you prepared for this case, seems to indicate, and she was, in fact, contributing something until her circumstance changed, and that was well over a year, right? You're going to have to go to court and get an order of support. And you can ask the court to make it retroactive to a date in August. Okay. And they will fix what they deem to be a reasonable order retroactively. But I'm not getting involved with, I just bought Xavier a jacket and your portion of the jacket is $25. I mean, you did the right thing by taking her to court. She should be paying child support. Your wife has children. She works. She contributes to their support. Well, so did she. I, can I approach the bench? Sure. No, don't approach the bench. You can thank stand you. there. Okay, thank you. No, there. Okay, so um, the reason that we had started to document this and the reason that we are, we are coming here today is because the payments were never consistent. Just to give you an example, uh, Robert had his braces that were coming up. Uh, the down payment was $500. I had given her a six-month period to make that payment, which we had never received a payment towards that in six months.